working on this project for a really long time now. And at first, I never thought of uploading it or of sharing it to the public because when I started working on this project, I didn't even have my YouTube channel. But a long time later, I decided that I will share this with the world. So I'm excited to say that coming this Friday, August 21st, I'll be releasing my very first music album. I am so excited to do this. I wrote all the songs myself, recorded all of them myself. Unfortunately, I don't know how to play any musical instrument, so it'll be all a cappella, but I want to tell you guys a little bit about the album before it comes out later this week. So first of all, albums work on New York Times, so they release midnight on the day of the release. So for those of you who live in LA like me, it will actually be out August 20 at 9 p.m. Now let's get into the logistics of the album. So the album is actually an EP, it has seven songs, and it's called My Eyes. And it's called that because it's kind of taking on a trip through my eyes of my middle school journey. The songs are mostly about stuff that happened while I was in middle school. For those of you guys who don't know, I'm entering high school next week. So I wanted to release the album the last Friday before I enter high school. And also this Friday represents the first kind of day of middle school. This was our orientation, so it's like full circle moment. So that's why I'm so excited that I'm releasing it this Friday exactly. The album was actually originally supposed to have 14 songs, but I decided to cut it in half and only put seven songs on the album because I'm not the best singer. You guys probably heard me in the rewriting lyrics video, except in that video I was mainly focusing on writing lyrics and I wasn't focusing on making my vocals sound good. So in that video, I was kind of scream singing. Don't worry, in the album, it will sound way better. But still, I'm not the best singer, and some songs were really hard for me to do. They just didn't work out so good, and some songs didn't work well without that background music that most pop songs have. And yes, the album is mostly pop. So I ended up choosing seven that worked out to be really good and that I really love and I just can't wait for you to hear them. So I'm going to tell you a bit about the songs. So I'm going to put a track list right here. I'm going to write it down of the seven songs and I'm going to take you through them. So song number one is called Daydream's Intro. I'm a huge daydreamer. I like to imagine stuff and I have a lot of dreams and one of them was to write this album and it's just an introduction where I sing about that and it's shorter, it's like only a minute. Song number two is called Kiss the Lonely Fright. That's a really weird name, but I love it. That song is actually representative of a metaphor. It represents overcoming anxiety. Kiss is like overcoming it, the Lonely Fright is anxiety. It's just a weird way to say it, but I think it works well. The song's not only about having anxiety, but how to overcome it and be stronger than you ever are. So that's why I really like that song. Song number three is My Eyes, the title track from the album, where I take you through a metaphorical story of one of the toxic friendships I had while I was in middle school, but none of the stuff is kind of like exactly what happened. It's many metaphors, and it's more of an indie song rather than a pop song, which makes it very interesting. Then we have number four, which is Hurt Me, which is the saddest song off the album. That's what I personally think, and this song goes more into exact detail of the painful stuff that happens in a toxic friendship. So, then we get into the final three songs of the album. This is more of the healing, we're better, this is more of my eighth grade. So song number five is Tired of You, Tired of You is the exact moment where you're done with that toxic friendship. This is my personal favorite song of the album because it's fun, it's powerful, it's the most relatable out of all the songs on the album for me and it's the first song I recorded. So I just love that song. And then the final two songs are all very positive and happy. Song number six is called Good Friend, and Good Friend is about my friend Isel, which you guys have seen many times. Good Friend is more about how I used to be focusing so much more on those friendships that ended up being toxic, and now I'm focusing on my friendship with Isel, and it's a good friendship, and we have a lot of fun together, and we still do. So it's a great, happy song, and it's the only song I share to someone. Of course, I share it to myself. And then the last song is La 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 La, and it's literally La 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 La, four times, no spaces, all capitalized. But I think it fits because it's just about having fun with music, dancing, singing, 
And my love of music is kind of what inspired me also doing this album. And La La is just a perfect party song. Every single lyric would fit great in a party setting. And it brings a lot more positivity to an album that had some depressing hits. I think that La 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 is the most positive song on the album. But you guys can tell me what you guys think yourself. And I'm really excited for you guys to hear all of those songs. They're all so different. And you guys will feel a lot of different emotions listening to each and every song, and I wrote the first song that was on this album, which was Kiss the Lonely Fright, back in middle of February. However, two of the songs that were supposed to be on the album that cut off, I actually wrote before that, so technically I started this album in late January. So it took a long time. I finished writing in like beginning of July, and then I've been recording, and I really wanted to get this album done in the summertime, so instead of waiting so long to try to record every single song, I just put together what recordings I had that I did in that month from beginning of July to right now. And that's the album that I'm giving to you guys and I really hope that you enjoy it. Sorry that this is like the Tuesday video you get, especially since there was no Tuesday video last week and a Tuesday video three weeks ago, but that has nothing to do with me working on the album. For the video three weeks ago was just outright boring, I already said in the Whisper Challenge, I did not want to give that to you. And then the video last week was supposed to be a dog's choose my pizza ingredients challenge, which I was so excited for me to do and for you guys to see, but the dogs will not cooperate and listen, so no video ever happened, unfortunately. And I'm not giving you guys an official video this week because this announcement video needed to happen, of course, and you guys are going to have a lot more videos on Friday, which are actually going to be audios. I did not film any music video, so they're going to be audios of each of the songs, and there are going to be lyrics in the description so you guys can follow along to what the words I wrote. So anyways guys, thank you so much for watching this video and in advance thank you for listening to the album and supporting it. If you do, that would be amazing. I'm so excited for it to come out. And most importantly, smile, shine, be happy and go listen to the album. Bye bye!